Lecture by CYC Chen Cynthia. You can pause anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键。Make sure have your tools ready. Okay, everyone. Today we are going to learn about the flexions. Okay, so everything make with something smooth or something like the metal or the glass. Like mirrors, windows, or the tin tank. So those things is very shiny, right? Sometimes you will see the reflections from them. So today we are going to pick a sunglasses to do the reflections. So we need to have a pencils. Okay. Then we are going to divide the paper in three pieces. One, two, three. So we divide them. One. Very, very light. Remember, because we are going to erase it after. Okay, very, very gentle. Not too heavy, and it doesn't have to be that clear. Okay. So you can see it. That's good enough. Right, so we have one, two, three, and they are the similar size. Now find the center line, the middle line, right here, the middle, and we are going to do the vertical line from the top to the bottom, from the top to the bottom, right here. All right, so I'm gonna place the sunglasses on top of the same. So the bottom part of the sunglasses will be covered by the same a little bit. All right. So you can decide what kind of sunglasses you want to make. It could be the wrong glass, or like the best, or something special. But remember, you have to make sure the sunglasses like the symmetry. So which means left and right. Has to look like the same. Just mirror it. Okay. So I'm gonna do my first. Then you will start to do yours after you see how I'm doing it. All right. So first of all, I'm going to do one side of the glass. So I want my glass looks like this. A little bit like the rectangle, but has a little bit shade. I don't close the bottom because the bottom part is covered by the same. All right. So remember, we are going to do the symmetry, which means the left. I'm going to flip over to the right. So that's C. I'm going to from here. C is going to here, right? So borrow the center line to find where's the other. How big is right here? See, right, left are look similar, and how long is like this? Okay, not too short. And the bottom part right here is curving down. Okay, it's like the symmetry. Right and left are almost the same. So here is the diagonal, and the bottom part is the curve, right? So I'm going to make it then looks like the curve shape. All right. So now my right and left looks similar, but it doesn't look like the sunglasses, right? I have to do the front and the glass are separate. So the inside part is the glass. The outside part is the. Mirror the glass part, okay? The front and the glass. All right. So semi tree, which means the left has to looks like the same. So I'm trying my best to make my left side looks like the right side I made. See the frame? The size of the frame are the same, right? I'm not going to make them looks thicker or thinner. Okay, and the border looks like this, and going close. 
see my right and left are similar okay so try your best to do then looks like the same now it's your turn to design your glass okay we just need to have a frame and the glass first Remember, don't be rushed, take your time. That's it, any detail you forget to add it, and don't forget every small part that you might need it. Don't forget, good art always takes time. Don't worry if you need more time to complete your awesome work. Right? So the sunglasses, how can you place that on your face? We need something to support so we can hand it on the ears, right? So we have the structure right here. So I can place my sunglasses on my ears. It's only on one side, it was on two sides. So right and left, we both have ones. Okay, and remember what I'm telling you? We are having the glasses on the same. So I'm going to have some curvy line, a little bit wave. Those are the same. Okay, then I can remove the line that I don't need it. I don't need the center line anymore, so I'm gonna remove the center line to keep my joint clean and simple. It doesn't make my joint look messy or gonna confuse myself after I'm gonna start to trace, right? Okay, so the next part for you, you have two things. First, what do you have around the glasses? Okay, so we might have something on the same, something behind. That is the first thing. And the second thing is, what do you got 
on the glass. So remember, we are doing deflections. So sometimes the glass is just like the mirror. So what would you have in the glasses? Okay, so there's two things you have to think about it. All right, the background, deflection on the glass. Okay. Remember, don't be rushed, take your time. That's it, any detail you forget to add it, and don't forget every small part that you might need it. Don't forget, good art always takes time. No worrying if you need more time to complete your awesome work. Okay, so since it's a sunglasses and my place is on the same, so I imagine that I'm at the beach. So I can have the place to relax, right? And I have the background like a boat, coconut tree, and the seashell. Okay? So any background that you see is related to your drawing and that's good. Okay, that's good. So what's next? And since it's we learning about deflections, so which means we have to do something, right? We are not just adding the graphics on it. We are not doing anything new, right? So if you standing in front of a mirror, everything will become very clear right because that is the mirror but what if you stand it in front of a window hmm. so it doesn't look like that clear as you standing in front of the middle right it's different so I'm going to ask you to add a quotation mark like explanation mark okay so it looks like this I do it a little bit heavier so you can see it So it looks like explanation, right? So like this. So we are doing the same thing 
same size, same place on the other mirror. Oval in the circle at the bottom. It looks like the diagonal way, right? It doesn't look like the uh, vertical. It looks like diagonal. And keeping them looks like the same angle. So what are we gonna do? We are going to erase everything inside the explanation mark. Erase them inside the oval. Erase whatever you have, okay? Whatever you have. All right, now I want to do another one on the corner right here. See, they are doing the same directions, the same angle. And again, I'm going to erase the thing inside. All right, it's a little, a little bit messy. But after I finish tracing, everything will become more clear. All right, so the next part, we are going to outline our joint with the markers. All right, so you need to have two markers. One is the fine marker, so that we use very often. You should have this at home. And the other one, it looks like the needle. It's very thin, right? Like the needle. So. If you don't have this type of the thin markers, if you don't have this one, you can use a pencil crayons to help you. They are work. They work like the same. All right. So if you don't have the needle marker, use the pencil crayon to help you. Okay. So first of all, we are going to use the fine marker to outline the glasses, but not the middle part. Okay, only the outside shape. Only around, not even the same. Just like this. All right, then the frame, the glass frame. So we basically only trace on the frame of the glass. Don't make the mistake. All right, and right here, the side. Okay. Now we're done with the fine markers. I can place that on the side. Then use your needle marker, the thin markers. Again. If you don't have the needle marker, you can use the pencil crayons to do so. All right. So we are going to trace everything with the thin markers. So everything goes thin. Okay. So now you can begin. I believe that you know where we gonna trace and where we gonna trace with the fine markers and where we trace with the thin markers. All right. we don't need it so we can keep our joint clean so after you finish erasing the extra pencil line to clarify your joint we were going to have our three minutes water break so during the water break you can go to the washroom all right 
if you don't complete your work, like you haven't finished the tracing or even the backgrounds, you can use your three minutes water break to complete your work. All right, then after three minutes water break, we were going to continue to finish our drawing. Okay, then finish erasing and then we are going to have our three minutes break time. So for this section, we are going to color our joint with the pencil tray, okay? No one using the markers, all right? So how can we color the flexions? Okay, so let me show you first. So remember we have the explanation mark right here. We are not going to color anything inside. We have to keep them white. Looks like this. I got the palm trees. The Lee is right there, but it's behind. It's the flexion right there, so I don't see anything. It looks like white. And when you're doing the color, don't forget we have to do dark, medium, and light. Okay? Whatever you have to skid over the, the explanation mark. So let me show you and remind you what do I mean the dark, medium, light on my seashell right here. So like the rewind. Okay, so I pick one color, the shiny colors. Okay, so the first color I have to go a little bit heavier, so I color a little bit darker. Then I reduce the pressures, so it gets brighter and even brighter. Okay, 
So that is dark, medium, light. So one more time. I color heavier. I brush the pencil has more pressure. So it looks so dark. Then I reduce the pressures on my hands to make the color a little bit more light. Okay, then even brighter. So I got dark, medium, light. Okay, so for who think that is easy, you can do the color blending. So you're gonna pick two colors. Doesn't matter what two color you want to. So you are going to do dark, medium, light. Okay, then you are going to do is on the other side, dark, medium, and overlap the color and mix them all together. So you got color blending. Okay, so now I want you to color everywhere on your joint, but not the explanation mark. And this small tiny oval right there, okay, there they should be white. Otherwise, entire pictures. Okay, entire picture must to color with dark, medium, light, the color value, or either color blending. All right, you can use any color you like. You can mix and match your color to make your joint looks even prettier. All right, now you can start. until the color looks what very tight and neat okay so we are going to scribble in all over the place all over the place on the scene okay we are going to scribble in everywhere as much as we could so how can we do the scribbling with dark media and light so from here i scribble in more darker and I scribble in a little bit less and get it brighter and brighter so I also have dark medium and light right dark medium and light even I'm doing the scribbling it also shows the color volume okay so when you color the same or something not like smooth thing you can do the scribbling okay now I believe you got it now you can keep going to color your work and we almost there.
right? So the last part. I know that now we keep that white, right? But the flexion sometimes will come with a little bit blue. So you can use the sky blue to help you or even the navy blue. Up to you, okay? Or you want to, if you don't have this both, you can use the purple, all right? So choose the color. And let's see. We color the left from the right to the left. Dark, medium, light, and stop. Dark, medium, light, and stop. So it looks like half is white. So one more time. Dark, medium, and stop. It should be very, very light. Dark, medium, and stop. So same here. A little bit brighter. So half, half. One side got the color value, and the other side got the white spot. Okay, so double check your work. If everything looks good, everything has no problem, and every way got the color. I want you to find the place to sign the name and write down the date. So that show me you complete your work and you also check your work. So you sign the name. All right. So you must to sign the name after you check, after you complete your work. Okay. So hopefully you enjoyed the class today, and I will going to see you next time. When you complete your drawing, sign the name and write down the date. 完成画作之后，签下你的名字，跟写上日期。Don't forget to take a photo of your drawing and send it to us. 不要忘记帮你的作品拍上照片寄给我们哦。And don't forget to clean out the table before you go. 不要忘记清洁你的桌子哦。Bye bye. See you next time.